Welcome to Vid Society. My name is Chris, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a MailChimp review for you. We're going to be going over this product, explaining a little more about what it is, the pricing. I'm going to be going inside my dashboard of one of my free accounts and showing you exactly how it works, some of the features and options, so you have a better idea of what this is before you invest in it. But first, below this video in the description box, there'll be some links that also might interest you. One of them will take you here to MailChimp's website, which you can find at just going to MailChimp.com, and you can learn more about it. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and take you in and explain the pricing and how it works. So we're going to go up and click on pricing. And if we scroll down here, you can see that MailChimp is a lot more than just an email or autoresponder service. So in fact, MailChimp offers a whole suite of tools and products that you can use to help build, grow, and monitor your business, especially if you sell products or services online. So the free account is obviously free, but it does give you some great tools. For example, you can send up to 10,000 emails a month and have 2,000 contacts. With it, you have access to the email builder, you can create forms, you can create your own landing pages and share them for opt-ins. You also have a creative assistant that allows you to create certain types of content for your uh, promotions. And you have a website builder and MailChimp domain that you can use to send people to your own website. Next is Essentials. It starts at $9.99 a month for 500 contacts, which you can increase that. And I'm going to show you how here in a minute. With this one, you get more email templates, you get multi-step journeys, which is really neat automation tool they provide, custom branding, split testing, and 24-7 email and chat support. The standard version is about $5 more a month, and you get some extra features. Uh, you can see here, and then you have the premium plan starting at $299 a month. Okay, so let's say, for example, you're interested in the essential plan just to get started. In my opinion, I would say start with the free one. You can always upgrade later if you want to. But with the essentials, you do get more options here. But let's say you have more than 500 contacts. Maybe you have 1,000 or 2,000. What you can do, you can scroll down here and you can calculate your price. So if we look at this, this is the essentials plan. So if we uh, come down here, click on essentials, you can see that it's $9.99 a month with 500 contacts. But let's say we want to increase this to say 2,000 or 2.5 thousand contacts. So you'd simply drag this to where you want it and then it's going to show you the price per month if you want to have that many contacts. Now as you get more contacts you can always upgrade or increase this limit as your business grows. And the same way works with the standard plan or the premium. You would simply click on these and drag it to how many ever contacts you would want and that would be included in that monthly price. Now you also have here options just for like websites and commerce or even transactional emails, which we're not going to get into this right now. Now what I do want to do is come back over here and for those of you who are new to this, this kind of marketing, MailChimp can be a little bit overwhelming. There's just so many things you can do with it as being this whole platform you can use to market and sell from. And so they do have resources here. They have what they call MailChimp 101, which really helps you out to understand it a lot better, how everything works. They have guides, tutorials, tips, case studies, uh, and just a whole lot of stuff, a big community to help you uh, to build and grow your business using this service. Now, what I recommend you do and what I've done for this example that I'm going to show you, just go ahead and set up a free account because obviously it's free and you can go in there and check it out yourself. So you'd simply click on add to cart and go through the process of entering your information. Once you do, it's going to bring you into your dashboard. And so here I am in my dashboard and right now it's asking me uh, to go ahead and connect my store. So during the setup process, I told them that I sold my own products and services. So it's telling me that I can go ahead and connect MailChimp to my online store so I can get more details about analytics and just have a whole better uh, process of being able to understand what's going on between my customers and my store by integrating MailChimp with it. You can see here you have integrations like Facebook, Google, Twitter. Uh, you can uh, integrate WordPress if you're using that, Squarespace, WooCommerce. You can see the other options they have here as well. Now if we go back here, I'm going to click on Dashboard. And if we scroll down on the home page, here it's just kind of giving us um, how to get started, telling us to, to create our first email, to start an automation, to add your contacts, and create a sign-up form. All of these are very important if you're wanting to build your business through uh, email marketing. So what you'd want to do first is add your own contacts. If you don't have any, that's fine. You can start by creating a sign-up form. 
and either sending people to the URL they give you with that sign up form, or you can embed that sign up form on your website and people can opt in and then you can start marketing to them. So once that happens, you'd want to create your first email and then you can also start automation. And what automation is, is basically just that. It automates the process of sending out emails. Uh, it's called a journey through MailChimp and we're gonna talk about that here in a minute. So let's go ahead over here on the left hand side and what we'll do is we'll go down to audience and this here is going to be all of your contacts. So in this section here, this is where you can create sign up forms. You can even create social posts and share them to like Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. You can even create social ads and share them on Facebook and Instagram directly through your MailChimp account. And over here, you're going to see where you can view all your contacts. You can create your sign up forms. Uh, it says there, add a pop up or embeddable form to your website. So with tags, you can organize all of your contacts. Basically, when someone signs up, you can automatically tag them with a specific tag. And then when you do or send out future emails, you can just send it to those specific people with those tags. You can also break them up into different segments uh, to target everything easier. You can create surveys. And then you have something really neat here called an inbox, which allows you to have one-on-one -on -one conversations and responses with your audience. So if we go in here, this is where you can actually reply back and forth to people who are on your email list. Maybe they have questions or something, so they reply back to you. So instead of you using an email account like Gmail or something like that, it's actually built into MailChimp. So you can go here and manage everything and it keeps track of everything for you within here, which I think is really neat. Okay, if we come down to campaigns, this is where we are going to create our email campaigns to send them out. So everything is going to be shown here, the types of emails you have, and you also have a calendar view. So if you have email scheduled, you can see everything and how it's laid out here. So what you'd want to do is come up here and click on create campaign. And over here on the left hand side, you have several options. You have email, which you can create a regular email, which is what you want to do to start with. You can create a plain text email or you can use a template or design your own template. To start with, I recommend you just do regular. So if we click on regular, it's gonna ask you to give it a name. We're just gonna do test two, click begin. And when you do this, you gotta fill out these questions here. For example, uh, who are you sending this campaign to? You can add your recipients. If you've already imported your contacts, you can select those. Who is sending it? Um, so you can have your name and email address show up here. You're gonna add the subject line for your campaign and then you're gonna design it. So we're gonna come over here and click design email. And the designer is very easy to use. It's just a drop and drag editor, but first you're gonna to have to choose a layout, a theme, or a template that maybe you already have, or you can use one that's already here. Now, depending on what plan you have, you may not have access to all of these. So for example, you will have access to these first two, but these ones here, if you hover over them, you're gonna see it says upgrade to use. And the same way with down here, you have access to this one and this one, but then these you have to upgrade to use those. So what I'm gonna do for this example is just pick one of these two to use and I can edit it within the editor. Now up here at the top, you can also see they have themes. And if you hover over them, you can view them and you can use them too. Uh, once again, upgrade to use on some of them depending on the plan you have. You have save templates. So if you already created a template and if you like it, you can save it and it will keep it here. These are campaigns you've already done or you can add your own code to create your own template if you wanna do it that way and a little more advanced. For this example, I'm gonna go back to layouts and we're just gonna choose this first one. The editor is very easy to use. You're gonna click and edit or you're gonna drop and drag and that's pretty much it. So up here at the top, it has the logo and if you click on it, this box is gonna pop open where you can replace the image, you can add a link, add alt text to it, you can adjust the size of the image. You can also adjust a little bit more by clicking on style or going to your settings. And once that's done, you can come down to the text and you can, you, you can move these around by clicking these arrows wherever you want it to be at, or if you don't want it at all, you can simply click delete and get rid of it. Uh, the same way with the image here, if you click on it, it's gonna ask you to replace it here. It tells you the image size so it best fits and looks uh, good. But of course, once again, you can resize it if you want to. And then down here, you can take away some of the stuff if you don't want it or just, or just click it and edit it. And then every, everything will be ready. I'm gonna delete this button. And then what you can do is click save and close and you can drop or drag any of these options here 
onto your email and use it. So let's say we have a video, maybe we want to drag that up here and drop it. And then over here we can put the video URL and then we can put some text underneath of it. And then we got a video and image in our text or however it is you want to design. And then if you want to up here at template, you can hover over it and you can save this design as a template and use it for future use. Once you're done, you're going to click continue. Since I didn't completely customize this and there's placeholder content there, it's not going to let me um, to do much with it. So I'm just going to click exit anyway. Now, once you fully edit your email, you can see down here that I didn't replace uh, some of the stuff in the template. So it's not going to let me send it. But once I do that, I can come up here and then I, I can either schedule this campaign or I can go ahead and send it out. And down here, they'll even give you a link where you can share it and you can add a social post to Facebook, Twitter, or even Instagram. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on finish later. Okay, and next over here, we have the automations. The automations are, are extremely powerful and I highly recommend if you get started with email marketing and you wanna grow your list to use these. And basically what this does is it allows you to uh, map out how and what you want your customers to do when they do certain things. So for example, let's say someone opts into your newsletter, you can then choose what you want them to do after that. You can tag them, uh, you can add them to a certain list, you can send them a certain email. Uh, if, they, if you have their birthday information, it'll automatically send out uh, coupons or happy birthday to them or whatever it is. It's just a way to really interact uh, with your customers and to build that relationship with them. Uh, you can build, you can create retargeting ads directly within MailChimp and you can even send postcards to your customers as reminders, coupons, or, or whatever. Now, if you get down here and click on website, here, even with the free account, you can build yourself a free website that you can use to send people to, to get information, or even to shop. So you have options here where you can uh, set up just a regular website, you can sell products, or you can start offering services, and you can create those here. Uh, you can set up your store here. You can offer and manage services that people can book directly from your website. Here you have where you can connect your own domain from if you want to use it, and then some additional settings for your website. Then you have the Content Studio. So the Content Studio is where you can upload all your own files, or you can view and create all different kinds of content based upon anything you enter here. Uh, it'll kind of create it for you based upon their creative assistant they have, which is really neat. And then down here we have our integrations and then you have your search feature if you just need to look for pretty much anything. But this is MailChimp. Like I mentioned guys, this is a whole marketing platform. It's just not an autoresponder. So there's so much you can do here. I didn't even go over the landing pages where you can create landing pages to collect your, your leads, promote products or services. Uh, you can create beautiful on-brand designs you can use across marketing channels surveys ads just all this stuff you can use and if you integrate everything and if, if you hook up your website if you hook up your social sites there's a lot you can do with this so this is MailChimp if you guys like this review please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and if you like these types of videos click that bell icon and I will notify you when I put out more reviews like this thanks